Okay, we're going to see if we can record a standalone video of just physical therapy interventions in the birth to three setting. So we'll see how we do with that. So again, we're going to describe a little bit about the patient population, uh, the goals of the intervention. Um, I'm not going to talk a lot about specific interventions. We'll cover that when we talk about patient pathologies. But I do want to talk just briefly about the setting and how, how children qualify for it. So in the birth to three setting, as you can imagine, this is after children are born and up to three years of age. And so essentially it's supposed to take children up to preschool. And children qualify for this if they have a 25% or greater developmental delay. And it can be in any one or more of five areas. So the five areas in include cognitive delays, physical and motor development, that can be either gross or fine motor activity, speech and language development, social and emotional development, and then self-help and adaptive development. And children don't have to be referred to this program by a healthcare provider, certainly not by a physician or even by a therapist. They can just kind of self-refer. Um, these, as you'll see, these are administered primarily on the county level, and so they can, a uh, person can just go to the county level or county office, have their child assessed, and they can get services. If the child already has a diagnosis of a physical or cognitive delay that's, that's going to put them at high risk for being ready for school by the time they're school aged, then they may automatically qualify. So this all falls under the Federal Individuals with Disabilities Education Improvement Act, and so states are required to provide these services. And in Wisconsin, they're administered by the Department of Health and Family Services. Each county, though, so the funds are really distributed at the county level, and so the county really um, organizes and arranges the services. In this setting, uh, physical therapists and physical therapist assistants apply, or, I mean, supply both habilitative, so in other words, trying to develop normal movement and activity, as well as rehabilitative. So if, the, let's say, the child... Um, was born with a developmental delay but also had cognitive or congenitally dislocated hips and went through an orthopedic surgery. So the physical therapist would address both the medical and the, um, the preparing for school issues. Uh, funding, so we can look at some examples. So a variety of areas that they might be working in. That's kind of cute. Uh, funding for this, as I mentioned, it's, it's a federally mandated program, so there are federal funds that come through the uh, Department of Education. Uh, Medicaid also contributes some funds toward birth to three programming. The state, uh, there are some allocations directly from the uh, general fund, uh, again also from the state allocated Medicaid funds, and there are county funds. Finally, there are private funds which might come through somebody's, you know, private health insurance or through charitable foundations or other grants that support this. So this, um, depending, it, it's definitely need-based, and so um, people are entitled to this service and to this, to this program regardless of their ability to pay. See how much fun it is? So this is an area uh, that it exists. Again, the focus is to provide physical therapy so that this, the child can, it can address all the child's medical and physical needs and to get them as ready as possible for school. This is often occurring in an outpatient setting, but you may also see this provided in a home setting, and both physical therapists and physical therapist assistants do participate. Just to finish up, you can watch these little, um, these very short videos. Uh, this, these are two little videos of the same little boy, Noah, with Down syndrome, and it shows a couple of his physical therapy sessions. So it would be a very typical example of things that would occur during birth to three. All right, well, this was a short and sweet uh, little lecture video, so we'll see if it worked. And I will be with you again on a video for, on school-based physical therapy.